Watch this very sharp left bank comes. turn on the video. Thanks, Robbie. He's got to do a pretty sharp turn. He has to take a look at the river. And with heavy crosswinds, folks, this could be tricky for sure. A little bit of hang time. Look at those floats. Even Steven all the way down. These are the kind of homes you see in Alaska. Sure, what do you think? In radio and voice work for about 25 to 30 years in the interior. I'm an avid volunteer and I'm the proud father of six people. Nothing else we have a lot of in our state boats are retirees, especially veteran retirees. More for it was on this property back in the 70s that a young woman came to John. We are now approaching the training grounds of the late legendary Susan Butcher, who won several Iditarods, and her husband Dave is there. What a beautiful day it is today to be on the river, but you know, to, to tell you the truth, it's a perfect day to be on the river bank here as well, because we've got the dogs out, the day is nice, but the best thing we have going for us is the little puppies are out and they love to have fun. It's amazing to watch the puppies because just a few weeks ago, it's very young. <laughs> you can't get Trying to teach confidence to get the dog to jump over. And they learned something very important from that. They learned that we're not asking them to do anything impossible. And also, they learned that we'll... Dave is taking the dogs out to train, and they're coming back. We're headed home, and uh, this is really a great way for me to evaluate how You can well hear him talking. He's taking them the way out there. To learn is to do He's giving them singles, really signals like haw, which is to turn are, left. Hold back some energy, because these guys, when we're racing, we may have to uh, cover over 100 miles a day, and they need to have the reserves. So that Here they come. As we approach the finish line, we can pass teams in front of us or keep competitors way far behind us so that we can win. This looks like a great... That's their least favorite word right there, folks. That's Dave Monson and them, these beautiful dogs. Isn't that great? <laughs> do love what they do and so after every run uh, no matter how it goes you want to thank the dogs for their hard work so of course we pet every one of them and then as you can see it's time to play you know, other than the village this morning with our friends what here on the boat, and we always here. appreciate My the time you can set aside uh, to visit. Many of them. What in the them. world? What do you think of this? <laughs> what do you do it's with a houseboat that doesn't float too good? <laughs> a houseboat that doesn't float too well. Here is where we will celebrate the life of the Athabascan Indian. There is no gift shop here, all right? A fish camp. This is how the Athabascans used to catch salmon. And you'll notice with that knife in his hand, he's cut quite a few salmon in his day, not a single, single finger comes off. I don't think I'd be able to do it that good. Now we Is see a bald eagle. Three short stops for the native guy. So bring your camera, three short stops. The second half hour will be your free time to go wow. wherever you want. There's a dog yard way in the back. See that building right, right down here with the antlers on it to your left? That there it goes. Uh, three important things about being on shore, folks. Number one, plenty of bathrooms. Number two, lots of places for a drink of water. All right? Amazing. Our travelers got off the riverboat to come in and see these exhibits. There's a grizzly hide, a moose, a caribou. How about that, Kevin? And a very still moose. Talking about calling the moose. An Athabascan <laughs> women's <laughs> winter <laughs> outfit. <laughs> And the traditional Nike shoes. And the Alaskan Huskies. Oh, my goodness. Man, look at that. How about that? Huh? Aww.